and that's going to do it as the horn sounds and the Knights have ousted the Kings. The games were tight. We gave up seven, they gave up three. We created opportunities that we didn't finish on. Hard to believe that we didn't move on, but you know, we can't accept that. We probably give Vegas the toughest opponent up until the Washington series, and we're proud of that, but we still won't settle on that. You know, you get in sport uh, to win championships, and, uh, and we failed in the first round. Goal number one was to make the playoffs, and they did that. They fell a little bit short, but I think you saw that the seeds were sown for how this team is going to compete in this new NHL that's faster and more talented, more skilled. When you go into the summer, it's getting things in order, getting the staff and getting the relationships and all that. Now you take it one step further a year later and, and now you build on what you accomplished last year and what you tried to develop through the season, but you continue to build now. I like studying the game. I like trying to figure out ways we can improve. When you get out of the day-to-day -day grind of the season, sometimes you can really focus in on the research and analysis of what's going on and the performance of your teams. You try to go come up with a plan that's going to help the players over the course of the summer. You sit down with them. You try and discuss the areas that they need to improve. A lot of the players have been here all summer training. Some of the players are coming in at the top fitness level of their career, which gets us really excited. It means they're serious about what they're doing. The big thing with training camp, you know, you're going to get a lot of detail in terms of structure and how we play. I think it's important to be able to absorb some of that information, but not think too much and go out and play a real aggressive game and be the player that you're supposed to be. There's been a couple uh, changes to our team. You can feel it amongst the guys that are coming back. Uh, they're, they're really looking forward to playing with some of these guys and uh, we feel we've got some really good young players. I want to see them trying to make the team. Not just come in here and go through the motions and, and a lot of times it happens. You're, you're respectful and you don't want to do things but we want them to try to push and I, I think you set the example with Ayafalo last year. But I don't think many people suspected he'd be sitting in that top line with Kopitar on opening night but he was able to do it through camp and able to push himself to that. Johnny Stevens understands that. He expects these guys to come in and win jobs, and if they're capable of it, we'll make room for them. There's going to be some competition for either a spot in our lineup or responsibility in our lineup, both at the forward position and on defense. We think we have more options now than we've had in a while, and we think there's going to be some real healthy competition. We like the process in a lot of the areas that we've improved in, uh, but we can't let that slip. Kempe in deep. I have followed up Martinez, who scores! Winning, it's important to who we are. It's part of our identity. The window of opportunity is upon us. <laughs> we're not building for a four-year period where we're going to try to compete in four years. We want to compete right now. Matteo got smacked into the boards. to Tavoli scores! Carter, two-on-one shot, score! If you look at our core, that's the Kopitar and the Dowdy, the Brown, the Quick. They've been together and they've won two cups together, but they're still producing at a high level and we got to get the most out of them. Now we got to incorporate some of these young players into Campy's the eye of follows. Bring them into this mix and push this team again.